Senator Mitt Romney has made his decision. He supports holding a vote for President Trump's Supreme Court nominee before the November election. Only two Republicans have said they're in favor of delaying a decision about who will replace Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. And Democrats had hoped that Romney would be a third, but today the Utah senator said this is all about precedent. The decision to proceed now with the President Trump's nominee is also consistent with history. WBZ political analyst John Keller joins us now. And John, Romney has certainly defied the president and the party before. Why not now, do you think? Well, it's, as Romney says, his decision is consistent with history, all right, his own history. Anyone who thought Mitt Romney was likely to go off the reservation on this one doesn't know his background. We here in Massachusetts... Uh, certainly can recall 2003 to 2007 when he was our governor. He campaigned on a promise of judicial reform, nonpartisanship, uh, choosing people based on common sense rather than ideology. And then he proceeded to abandon judicial reform efforts and nominate a string of law and order partisans uh, uh, to judgeships. So. You know, uh, Romney said it right out today. He believes that half the country is conservative and they deserve to have a conservative court. That's how he feels. He represents a very conservative state. No surprise here, Paula. So, so was this strictly a matter of principle for Mitt Romney? Well, of course not. He's a politician, and this is an intensely political moment, obviously. Why do you think Susan Collins up in Maine uh, came out as a no vote. Do you think she'd be voting no if she weren't in danger of losing her Senate seat this fall? Look, Mitt Romney would like to be president. He didn't run twice before uh, for his health. Uh, and he sees an opportunity here if President Trump should lose, if the Republicans should lose the Senate, and it's a debacle for the Republican Party this fall, well, they're going to be looking for somebody to emerge from the wreckage. And I'm sure Mitt Romney thinks, if not every day, then every other day, why not me? I think that had a lot to do, along with an element of principle, with his vote to convict in the impeachment trial. And, uh, uh, but in this case, to vote against a rep uh, conservative on the court, that's something that might have made him a non-starter in future Republican primaries. And I guarantee you that was part of the calculations that went into this vote. That's just the way it is. And Mitt Romney is not somehow an exception to that rule of the jungle down in Washington, Paula. Sure, that was unlikely to happen. 2020 is overflowing with issues and problems. But 2024 is always right there off stage, right? John Keller, thank you so much. Anna Rittis?